All right. Uh, yeah, I'm going to ignore that. Actually, I better not. You know what? And I don't know if I can do this on the fly or not. Uh, stay right there. Can you hear me? You can hear me, right? Let me find my settings. It says right here that, okay, it says it's working. This is the other mic. Do you hear a difference? Probably not. Back to this mic. Okay, so. It's always something. I had to reboot this laptop like five times today. Why is my hair so messed up? Because I haven't been able to wash it because I can't take a shower because I can't use the water because I can't. So, I just got a, the call from Kim. It's 5.22 p.m. Current temperature is 53 degrees. And I was actually getting a little worried because it, it was after 5. And the plumber was really supposed to have been there and left by now. But they had to stay late. The day started this morning. Here's to you. The first guy came at 7.30. The guy who had to cut a new... Uh, what do you call it? I should know all these plumber terms by now. I've talked to some of you. Clean out. I think that's what it's called. Put a hole in the pipe so that you can get in there. So he was there at 7.30. I don't know how long he took, but... That job was like what, 800 bucks. I'm exaggerating. I'm not exaggerating by much, though. It was like 750 I think. All these numbers are not real to me because I don't have the credit card bill yet. But the So he was in and out. And the other guy showed up finally and managed to get his cutter in there because, yes, yes, roots. It was roots. Roots in the main line. And he, apparently there's a whole bucket full of roots in the basement for me to look at and be impressed by when I get home. This sounds kind of skeevy, but okay. So uh, that was... That job took longer than they thought, so of course they had to charge us the hourly rate above and beyond. So that was 450 So easily... 1200 bucks, Fantastic. I'll find it. Don't worry. But I'm definitely going to buy Mega Millions tonight. Let that take care of it. You know how I got away with that $1,100 catalytic converter job last week that Volkswagen had to pay for? If you don't believe there's some sort of karmic balance in the world, I really think that kind of covers it. The real question is, what did I do to have to owe oh, 100 bucks more than that. Probably a rounding error. We'll worry about that later. Alright, so I've been very neglectful in answering questions, and apparently I neglected Cerebrus' questions all the way back to a week ago. So I'm going to go back, way back, to the 21st. Uh, and there it is. Told you I had it. It's right there. Now, I answered the question about is there anything I won't eat. I know I answered that one because I talked about my jellyfish experience. But apparently I dropped it there. So he had a question about the big blank space over my shoulder. The question, if you name a good movie, I could probably get you a poster for it here on Hollywood Boulevard to hang on the wall. I'd pick one, but you'd probably get fired for it or something. You know, knowing what you would pick, you're probably right. Or, LOL, or I can get you a Lakers poster. I would flip you off, but I've used up my swearing allotment for the week. You know what you could get me is a three-panel Metropolis poster. I know there's one out there for only 850 grand, so if you could swing that, probably wasn't the answer you wanted. Does anything scare you? What scares me the most is that no one will pay attention to me. Fortunately, there's no chance of that not having not happened. Who is the one female your wife would let you bang if given the opportunity? This will never happen, so I don't even think about it. 
She, of course, is all right with this because she knows it would never happen. Who is her one free bang that you would allow? Uh, she can sleep with anyone famous she wants. Again, won't happen, so I'm not too worried about it. I assume you've thought about this. Not really. It's not going to happen, so why would I think about it? Man, I think I answered Greg's questions. Yeah, I've answered that. So let's catch up and figure out where I need to be. Right. How do you like your eggs? If you haven't gone to Doug's allrecipes.com blog, which is fantastic, and yet the only reason, the only time I ever read it is when he promotes it. So you should probably go ahead and post more links. Actually, when you tweet them, that's the best way for me to read your blog if you're taking a one-person opinion poll. Always make sure you do a tweet when you do a blog post, and I'll show up and read it, but I probably won't respond to it. But this particular one was about eggs. There was a, a lively discussion in his comments. A lot of people talking about poached eggs. We actually have those little cup things that you hang on the side of your pan and you put the egg in there and it's magic. They were pretty good. I can't remember if we bought them or if they were a wedding present. But we also have that pan that no one ever uses. We haven't used it either. But we do love poached eggs. Eggs Benedict are a very special dish. It's one of the first things I made for Kim. Uh, when she had come to California to meet me for the first time. I did that for her one morning because she had made a remark about how she loved Eggs Benedict, and that, you know, I'm sure that sealed the deal. It was very impressive. And I'm a pretty good cook, too. Don't tell anybody. Jason asks, now that we are less than a week away from WrestleMania 28, what's your excitement level for the event? Eh, just another pay-per-view. I say that because I don't pay for them. Are you even going to order it, or are you pretty psyched about it? And, and I'm probably too old. I'm out of the demographic. It's something I watch, but don't really invest my emotions in. Not like some of these other yahoos. I will watch it. I may not watch it live, though. There is a Timberwolves game on Sunday at 8 they're playing the Blazers, and it will be on TV. So I will probably watch that. I don't know. Maybe I'll watch both. I mean, there are ways of watching the pay-per-view without paying. Mooching off friends. Other ways. Suffice to say, I will probably have watched WrestleMania before Raw comes on. Maybe. It's looking to be one of those non-sleeping nights, though. Yeah. But it'll all be worth it, because it's WrestleMania! The greatest WrestleMania of all was actually, I believe it was 11 years ago today, wasn't it? WrestleMania 17, was that on March 28th? I'll have to look it up. I think I saw that on Twitter somewhere, though, and I have no reason to doubt them. Shit happens. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> My brother's so funny. Hey, I was watching that Eagle Cam. Uh, have you seen the baby eagles on the Eagle Cam? It's tough because mom has to get up and move around, and then just for a minute you can like see the baby eagles. But man, baby eagles, that's where it's at. The reason I bring this up is because during the Ustream, they will break for ads, which you can't change the volume of, and it's incredibly loud and annoying. But I saw my first commercial for Tillamook Cheese. Isn't that interesting? It's all connected, though. It's all connected. Mike says, I certainly hope it's just tree roots causing your backups. It was. However, based on prior experience, I'm dreading what you're going to find when the first guy comes back. I don't know what you mean. Please elaborate. Even though it wasn't the case, and it was roots. We had the roots in there. Questlove had his big old afro with a pick sticking out of it. Has uh, lets me know that he's back. Thanks, Has. He's a Canuck. He also made a shit joke. Thank you. That joke was shit. What constitutes a really fancy restroom? Uh, not the one at the Red Lobster, which is where we ate last night. Mmm, Lobster Fest. 
spent way too much. They had raw oysters, so we ate them. They're usually out. But their restroom, not fancy at all. In fact, smelled a lot like pee. It was hard to use. I ended up coming back to the office and using the one here because Red Lobster is so close to the office. That's a secret, by the way. I was not here after hours. You heard nothing. What restaurant would one have to go to in order to find one? Any restaurant will do. Have you watched the NCAAs? I do not care because UC Riverside was not in them. Any interest or reaction? No. I couldn't even tell you who's in it, although I believe there's something about Louisville and Kentucky, something in there. Sarah was saying to me, epic cursing potty mouth. I said one word, two seconds in, and everybody gets all a flutter. I will withhold response. You need a jar to put a quarter in every time you curse. I don't curse that often. I really don't. I think you can tell that by now, at least by my typing. But... I really won't have that much money if we do that. And Lord knows, I need to find at least 1200 bucks. so, you know, I'm, I'm keenly aware of uh, saving up money. I don't care about your pooping habits, but thank you for sharing. And your fancy restaurant. I, you know, I didn't mean fancy restaurant. I just meant restaurant. But Red Lobster is pretty fancy, except for the restrooms. I'm forgetting the flashing lights. Yeah, you're right. Uh, what do I want to show you today? I like this one, so we'll do this one again. Oh, it's not working. Alright, I've already gone way over. I'm coming up on 12 minutes, so I'm going to cut it off. But at least I'm a lot less grumpy than I was a couple days ago. I know we're all appreciative of that. Now, if I can just get my sleep and get my laundry done. I didn't even tell you about the socks I had to wear today. And I'm not going to. But slowly everything will come back to normal. And then on Friday, vanilla ice. So glad we're over the hump. I'll see you tomorrow.